What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, more fun, more action here from the, the museum on a Tuesday, a, a rare Tuesday video coming from the museum today, guys. Uh, but we just have so uh, so many new offerings from Migo uh, to share with you guys. Uh, we just couldn't wait to get them out. Here's a very uh, obscure one, if you will. Um, and definitely much t talked about, uh, whether that's positive, negative, or otherwise. Uh, but definitely a different spin from Mego. We have Rick and Morty from the cartoon series uh, that debuted, I think came out, was first released in 2013. Um, almost like a parody of, of Back to the Future, if you will. Rick Sanchez here is the, the grandfather and his 14-year-old his grandson, Morty, uh, travels through time uh, with their space saucer and um, portal guns, if you will. That's what we're looking at. That's what they have here down here. Uh, definitely not a kid-friendly type of cartoons. It's more of an adult show. And before I go any further, we'd like to thank the good people at Movie Posters, etc., guys. Movie Posters, etc. That's why I that's where I purchase all of my Amigo figures. And that's where I got these guys from. And I, I listen, I like different uh with these action figures. Uh Amigo put something out uh different occasionally. They'll they'll try a new uh, 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 a new uh franchise or or license or whatever uh when i saw this i said i i, I know i have to check these out i've seen a cartoon a couple times and just looking at the uh looking at these figures and the actual cartoons themselves, not bad at all. Not not bad at all. But your thoughts, guys, we want to hear what, what you think about these figures. Did you buy these figures? Did you purchase these figures? We want to hear all of that, guys. As you can see the, the flying saucer up here. Uh, head sculpts are fantastic. We got the little green stuff coming out of uh, Rick's uh, mouth there. Lab coat on. There's the light blue shirt. A uh, long sleeve shirt, actually. It comes all the way underneath uh, beyond his, uh, his white lab coat. Brown pants and shoes. And like I said, there's those uh, portal guns if you will. And I think the one knock on from what I'm, I've been reading in the um, on the uh, collecting sites uh, Mego collecting sites is, is the skin tone of Morty. As you can see here a little bit more pale there, but he has a, a tan here, this particular figure. But like I said, the head sculpt's there. He's got his iconic yellow shirt on and blue pants, and he's got his white shoes on. And he too comes with a portal gun. I'm just... I'm I'm just drawn to these figures. Like I said, uh, the stranger the better, I guess. But enough of how I feel about it, guys. I'm gonna 
spin these guys around very delicately because I got them balanced up here. I'm trying to shoot video on both of these guys for you, get you a blown out look of Morty's uh, card art here in the back. Uh, speaking of card art, and you can see that's an Adult Swim. That's where it, it came on at, featured at Adult Swim channel, like Cartoon Network. There's Morty in action here. What do you guys think? Let's turn it on. Turn this around here so you can get a better look here. And here's Rick Sanchez's card here. It's a crazy genius, right? I would love to know who who did the head sculpts on these figures uh, because I, I think they came out um, beautifully. Definitely a, a great job on the head sculpts. Here, we'll set this guy down here. And we'll turn this guy back around. So we can wrap this up for you. But we definitely want um, comments on this because I'm very curious to know who got these figures. Um, did Migo get it right? Did they get it right with Rick and Morty? Um, as beautiful as the figures are, did they get the licensing rights uh, right? I mean, is this is, is this a licensing licensing? Uh, franchise that collectors want. We want to hear all of that. Right underneath this video in the comment section, guys. Let us know what you think. Rick's a little, uh, he's obviously smaller too. So he's on a smaller body. Uh, I think these, uh, I want to say um, Rick Sanchez is on the bandless uh, 26 points of articulation. Yep, he is. I'm looking at the card right now. 26 points of articulation. So he's on the bandless body, the new body. And Morty is not. I believe Morty is still on the the bandit body, um, child body. Probably the six inch body, but the head is probably makes him about seven inches because <laughs> he's he's got, he's got a big head. But true to their characters, without question. Guys, more fun on the way. Just wanted to share this with you guys on a Tuesday here at the museum, drinking my coffee. You know the routine, guys. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.